All right, welcome everybody to another Zoom session. Um, so we're recording on Friday. We didn't have one earlier this week, I'm, I'm afraid, so just one this week. But we'll put this up onto the YouTube site. So that's growing. It's up to about 10 or 11 sessions now. So we're trying to get a variety of things happening for you. So that depending on what mood you're in on other sessions, you can just click on that um, session. If you want a harder session, you can click on that. If you want an easy recovery session, you've got that. Um, behind us here, I don't know if you can hear it, it's the ukulele group. So I'm hoping that you can hear me. Um, if not, I'll try and be slow and pronounce. This session, we're going to do a movement session, trying to move more of us, um, not just do more movement, if that makes sense. So move more joints, more types of movement that we don't often get. So without further ado, adieu, adieu, further ado, I don't know what the word is, we're just going to get into it. Further ado, isn't it? Further ado. No, adieu is when you say goodbye. Oh man. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> Someone can correct me on that later. That's good on me. All right, so um a lot of the a lot of the things is about getting more movement into rotation. So we do lots of forward and backwards movements. Like when we walk, we're just moving forward and backwards and all our joints are moving forwards and backwards. We don't get much rotation. So we're gonna be spending a lot of our time doing rotation. So we'll just do, again, neck. Now I'll invite you just to close your eyes as you do the neck movements and just feel the movement a little bit more. Nice and slow. Like so. Feel the movement a bit more. All right, and then we're just going to do some sort of sideways movements with our hands. So we're just warming up our body mobility wise. You don't have to come all the way up if your um, arms are sore there. Hands out here, we're going to turn your hands up and down. If that's sore there, you can do it a little bit lower, right? Uh, but just see where you can get to. Just stretching out the joints. So we'll still get into our cardio and the rest of it, but we'll just try and do more mobility, just warming up the movements so that when you do the more high intensity things, you should just feel a bit more comfortable. All right, so just. Rolling, 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 rolling. I'm in a bit of a singing mood today, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Thanks for putting up with me. Welcome if you're just joining us. All right, so just try and get into those joints a bit more. Okay, hands together, clasp your hands together, and we're going to reach up, up, up. I've got something above me there, so I won't crash into it, and then down. Up, up, up. And again, only go what's comfortable. If you've got rotator cuff issues or arthritis and you just can't get your arms overhead, and just do what you can. Good, excellent. Let's just do a bit of a shake around. Washing machine exercise. Don't forget to shake your head around. Good, okay, so this time, um, let's do the around the clock. So thumb in as you come in, turn your hand out as if you're waving. So thumb in as you come in. When it gets to your chest, you sort of open up and you do this movement. So this is the movement. And try and get your elbow more or less in the same spot. It's not easy to do, but just try it best. And then this side, so come in here and out. In. Good. Good. 
Do you hear that ukulele in the background? <laughs> it's our backing track for, the, for today. Every Friday, we're going to have a backing track of ukulele. There you go. All right, so cut in front behind. Maybe that's why I'm in a singing mood because I've just got music to make you want to sing. So clapping in front, clapping behind. If you can. If you can't get behind, that's okay. Good. And then wrists. Try and move your wrists around without moving the rest of you. All right. It's hard to do without moving your elbows often. And then flicks. Really open up your hands. All right, let's do our hips. So hip rectangle, so over here, back. All the way around. If you feel a part that just feels like particularly needs moving, like for me, it's there today. Just hang out, hang out there. You know, there'll be different parts of movements that you just need more on a particular day. And if you can get used to not just doing an exercise for the sake of it, but feeling where your body needs it, you'll you'll go a lot better. Okay, um, so kind of open out to lift and over, like a little bit of a circle. Opening up the hips and then bring your foot back down. Good. Now this will be a um, a double whammy, or like balance as well as mobility. It's like an egg beater. So imagine that you sorry, imagine that your knee is kind of fixed and your shin and down and your foot can just be like a Egg beater. I'm just holding on to the wall. You can do that's just a wall there where I am that's for my balance, but you can hold on to a chair or you can do it freestanding. Good. Other side. So just be mindful that's. Good. Okay. Feet together, knees together, and we're just going to do our circles. All right, I was just looking at this, this ginormous dragonfly that's just flying around. <laughs> there you go, good. All right, let's do our super blue walking. Really trying to come up onto those feet. Oh, sorry, onto those ball of your feet. Stretch them out a bit. Very good. All right, just out to the outer part of your foot without hurting yourself. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. It's really loud on my end. I just don't show how much it gets onto the... Good. And now on the inside. Good. All right. On your um, one leg again, and we're just going to do ankle circles. Okay, so there's a good little whole body warm up. Hopefully, you feel a bit more supple. Um, we're going to get into um, a little bit of cardio now, a bit of, bit of cardio. 
So let's just sort of, now that you've warmed up, let's just start getting our, our run on. So you can walk on the squat or you can jog on the squat, just try and get into a rhythm. Try and let your breathing find a rhythm too. As you get fitter, you'll notice when you do higher intensity exercise, your breathing just becomes more rhythmical. That's a sign of you getting fitter. It kind of just happens naturally. So we're going to come forward and backwards. Forwards. Nice little steps, little fast steps. And backwards. Good. And then side step. Now we're going to add arms. So arms. And press, press, and I'll come forward. Press, press. Okay, I'm skipping. Skipping with one foot in front of the other. Skipping with the other foot. All right, and then press like a shot put up. Just let your, your toes pivot. So see my foot's kind of turning with my body. So squat, push, squat, push. You're going to do these little cuff weights around your wrists if you want in future or small dumbbells and really get like half a kilo dumbbells or a kilo dumbbells and do the whole workout like that. If you want to challenge yourself. I might do a class like that where I can show you how that's done. Future, move back to here. Right. And then reach, 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 reach. You'll notice I'm coming up into my toes as I reach, if you can, see if you can coordinate that. All right, and then really drive those arms. And come down lower, and then start doing this one for you. Um, lifting the bucket out of the well. All right, we're going to go side, step, side, step. And you know where we're going. We're going to add the arms to it as well. And just so you can get into a bit of rhythm. Crouch down a little bit if you can. Your knees will tolerate that. You can even leap cross if you need to, to increase the intensity, just wherever you're at with any exercise. All right, good. Good, 
All right, and then down, up, down, up. All right, and then the cross country skiing. So, from the side, where, as you can see, I'm pushing behind me as I'm squatting. That kind of movement. Good. Excellent. All right, we're going to go boxing now. So one, one, two, two, one, two. And one after the other. It, and then sort of swing around, more of a swing. Try and get it straight across if you can, straight across as you can. Now a new one, you're gonna put your hands on your, like your, your arms up here and it's gonna be an elbow, more like an elbow. So your hands are up here to start with and you just try and just use your elbows. So you'll feel a few different muscles. Just do what's comfortable. Doesn't have to be fast. And then elbows across, elbows across. So my hands are in to my body. A bit more. And my elbows across. And then you can really get into it if you want. Good. Your arm a bit of shape. All right, we're going to do. Knees to a target, so really try and lift like knee up to the target if you are trying to hit a, a bag, a boxing bag. Only as hard as you feel comfortable. You should feel these muscles working. Good, back to here. Now for the end operas, you can do a little bit of this. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of skipping on the spot. Like some skipping on the spot. Only do this if you feel that you're at that level. Otherwise, just do some more in the spot. Good. Have a rest. Have a drink. You've done a good 10 minutes of cardio, maybe more. Feeling all right? Okay. Excellent. Good, good, good. We're going to do a little bit of balance now. All right. So turn. Uh, we're going to turn our foot out, our right foot out. Come up onto the ball of your foot. Try and keep your hips facing forward, so don't, don't turn this way. And then lift up, and then bring, whoop, bring that knee there. And balance is a lot harder after you've done a bit of exercise, isn't it? So if you feel a bit off, that's pretty normal. Try and keep this hip, don't let that sink down, keep that up. Whoa. I'm struggling. <laughs> I got nothing. There we go. Okay, bring that down. Other side, turn around. Here. 
And you can use your arms for that ones. If you like. Well, I think you're all doing way better than me today. I'm a bit. Well, I'm a bit out. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Some days are just like that, eh? <laughs> Excellent. Good. Okay, now we're going to do um, the one where we start out in front and we bring out, we tap to the front, tap to the side, tap behind, and then tap on that side. So it's kind of like the four compass points. So forward, side, back, other side. Notice this knee is kind of staying, it's not moving in or out, just staying in the middle. And then if you can slowly start to do it without putting the foot down, you'll see it, it becomes a balanced exercise. Like so. And you can put your foot down just to steady yourself. Other side, so forward, side, back, side, back, side, forward. And then see if you can do that as one continuous movement, if you can. Oh, that wasn't it, was it? <laughs> Good, excellent. All right, let's go. Um, let's do some toe walking. So walking on the toes, and walking back. Walking on the toes, on the toes. Good. Now walking on the Heels. One more time. Good. Excellent. Good. We'll do a little bit of um, stretching to warm down. So again, trying to move more of our body. So make a stop sign. Make your elbow straight and then pull your fingers back like gently towards you. Don't, don't strain, right? Don't pull into a strain, but press, press out and then see if you can pull back. Other side, so make a stop sign. Bring this hand around. Pull back and just making sure that your elbow is straight. Okay. You should feel it sort of in here. Okay. Um, we're going to do the opposite. So make a fist, pull your hand down this way, so like this way. And then you're just going to just gently pull down. So that's the move. See, so you should feel it kind of more, more there. So there. Again, don't hurt yourself with this. A lot of people um, over the years get really stiff and sore wrists. So just do what you feel comfortable with. And here. And here. So you're trying to get right up.
and you can give it a little bit of a oscillation at the end. Good, and then turn your hands out, you push out. While you're pushing out, just do bigger and bigger circles. And then smaller and smaller circles. Again, all within what's comfortable for you. And then we're gonna have your hands flat. Turn your hands up, down, up, and down. Good, now turn one down, and then opposite. Good. That's a good one for your nerves, right? Okay, hands on your hips. We're just gonna just gently take our head to the side. And with this hand, just gently cradle it and pull it further over without hurting yourself at all. If you've had any nerve root pain in the neck, just um, you might wanna leave this out. Never force necks to go anywhere they don't wanna go. Other side. See so if you can cradle your, your face with your arm, the stretch is better. <laughs> the sun was out, now the rain's back. <laughs> it was nice while it lasted, wasn't it? Good, good, good. good. All right, so just clapping in front, clapping behind. When you get behind, see so if you can hold your hands together and just kind of bow forward as you bring your hands back. Now, a lot of people can't do this because they get if you get sore, right? Please don't do this, only if it feels really comfortable. And even if you're only just doing that, like just a small movement, that's totally fine. Shoulders back and come forward. So it's like a little bit of a bow. It doesn't have to be as fast as mine or as, you know, go, go as deep. Good. All right. Let's just shake it out. All right. Have your hands overhead if you can. I'm going to take deep breaths whilst our hands stay overhead today. So deep breath in. And out. Again. And out. And out. Bravo. There you have it. Well done.